What if Plo Koon trained Anakin Skywalker? Obi-Wan approaches Yoda after the death of Qui-Gon in pursuit of training Anakin Skywalker. This was Qui-Gon's dying wish and Obi-Wan needed to make sure that it came true. Although Yoda didn't agree with Obi-Wan's request, he told Obi-Wan that he was ready to train an apprentice, but due to the importance of this particular child, he would not be given to him. Anakin was the chosen one and was destined to destroy the Sith, which means that he has to be taken very seriously. Obi-Wan hadn't passed his Padawan trials yet, which meant he wasn't ready to take on Anakin. As well as this, Anakin was 9 years old, which is far older than younglings usually are. Obi-Wan tried to fight with Yoda's words, but it was to no use. Obi-Wan would not train Anakin Skywalker. Instead, another master was given the task of training him. Yoda chose Jedi Master Plo Koon. Plo Koon is a Keldor who was born on Doran. He was brought into the Jedi Order at a young age and trained to become a Jedi. His master was highly respected in the Jedi Order, which Plo Koon later became as well. Plo was extremely powerful in the Force and heavily gifted in the art of lightsaber dueling. It is said that Plo Koon is one of the only Jedi to be able to defeat Yoda in a lightsaber battle. Plo specialized in Form 5 fighting style, also known as Dem So. Dem So is a widely used fighting style amongst the Jedi. It incorporates the defensive capabilities of Form 3, yet adds a layer of aggression to help finish fights more quickly. Plo Koon would take Anakin under his wing and train him for the next decade. He was taught Form 5, just like his master used, which was the perfect lightsaber form for Anakin to use. It helped him to control his anger and focus it into his dueling capabilities. Plo Koon was an incredible master to Anakin. He taught Anakin how to be respectful towards others in order to help and save them, which was the primary goal of the Jedi. But it was through Plo Koon that Anakin was able to learn to control his emotions, something that he lacked under Obi-Wan's teachings. Plo explained that he was able to care deeply for others, but must show control and focus. Plo Koon and Anakin would grow a strong bond together, becoming brothers. They would go on countless missions together, exploring the galaxy and protecting as many people as they could. Anakin's powers would only develop under Plo's teachings, making him extremely powerful. Due to Plo Koon's wise and experienced life, he was able to teach Anakin much more advanced techniques and better his abilities compared to Obi-Wan. This made Anakin more powerful than when he was trained by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Anakin is sent to protect Padme Amidala after multiple assassination attempts were made on her life. This led to the pair falling in love with each other, which was forbidden for a Jedi. Anakin was confused and he didn't know what to do, but he remembered his master's training. He controlled his emotions and focused his mind. He decided to talk to Plo Koon and ask for guidance. He explained everything to his master, the feelings he felt for Padme and asked what he should do. Plo was definitely shocked and a little bit worried but extremely thankful that Anakin came and told him this. Plo says that he should be honest and speak to the council. He is respected and they will be able to talk to him about this. Anakin stands before the council in Coruscant and explains what he is feeling towards Padme. The room gasps as a few masters speak up, expressing their disappointment and anger towards Anakin. But it is Plo Koon who is able to communicate with the Jedi Council. He explains that Anakin requires guidance from them and that this is why he has come to them. He reminds them that it is not forbidden to have attachments as Anakin does, but it is forbidden to act on these feelings. With Anakin coming to the council and asking for their assistance, he hasn't broken the Jedi code yet, but he demonstrated how strong and compassionate he is for the Jedi. The council nods in agreement when Yoda says how proud of him everyone is. This was a difficult challenge for him to overcome, but due to his master's training, he did not give in to his attachments and stayed true to the Jedi code. This meant that Anakin and Padme never got married. Anakin had many sessions with Yoda on how to control his feelings so that they don't consume him and that he was able to move on. When the Clone Wars start, Anakin asks for an apprentice to which Ahsoka Tano is assigned to him. 
This is poetic as Anakin's master Plo Koon brought Ahsoka to the temple and now Anakin would train her. Over the Clone Wars, the two grew very close to each other and she became a powerful Jedi. She learnt different traits from Anakin due to him being trained by Plo. She was more respectful, didn't speak out of turn and handled herself in a better manner compared to the original timeline. During the Clone Wars, Palpatine continued to manipulate Anakin and attempted to spread lies into his mind about the Jedi Order. And although he really took notice of this, subconsciously his beliefs were shaken. But when Palpatine revealed himself as the Sith Lord to Anakin, Anakin left saying he is going to turn him over to the Jedi Council. Instead of rushing to Mace Windu, he called the Council for a meeting and explained the news that he had been told. The Council were not overly shocked to hear this, but they knew they had to act quickly. Yoda cut his ties with the Wookiees short and came back to Coruscant. Together, half a dozen Jedi Masters went to Palpatine's office. Entering, they accused Palpatine of being a Sith Lord, to which he stood and ignited his lightsaber. Leaping forward, Palpatine immediately sliced Sazy Tin and Egan Kola. Palpatine used his abilities in the Force to fend off against the Jedi Masters. This was by far the most intense duel he had ever been in. He used his knowledge of all seven forms of lightsaber combat to defend against the Jedi before finding an opening and killing Kit Fisto. With another Jedi dead, Palpatine came closer to victory. But when Mace Windu was able to take over and control the duel, Palpatine lost his balance and was kicked to the floor. This left him disarmed with no lightsaber in hand. He was beaten, thrown to the ground by Mace Windu with Yoda, Anakin, Plo and Obi-Wan standing above him but Palpatine raises his hands and throws him to the corner of the room. He gets his comlink out and executes Order 66. Clones rush in from all sides of the room and begin shooting at the Jedi Knights. Anakin and Plo re-engage with Palpatine whilst the others deal with the clones. Palpatine uses all of his power to try and kill the two Jedi, but they were both extremely powerful. Anakin used his immense Chosen One Force powers to battle Sidious while Plo focused on his dueling abilities. It was equal for a little while until the strength of the two Jedi became far too much for Palpatine. And despite the large number of clones firing at the Jedi in the room, Plo Koon and Anakin Skywalker were able to kill Chancellor Palpatine. They rejoined Mace Windu, Yoda and Obi-Wan who were still fighting the clones in the office. Assisting them, they were able to eliminate all of the remaining clones. From the window, the Jedi could see the flames at the Jedi Temple and immediately rushed over to help out as best as they could. Entering the temple, they began slicing down as many clones as they could. Without Anakin alongside the clones, they were all defeated with ease. The Jedi suffered thousands of deaths that day. All over the galaxy, Masters and Padawans were slaughtered by their clone companions, such as Kiari Mundi and Ayla Secura. The Jedi Temple would be fixed, and the Jedi would slowly rebuild until they reached their former size. With Palpatine dead, the Republic won the Clone Wars and brought peace to the galaxy. Anakin lived out the remainder of his days happily. Although he never married Padme, he had wonderful friends such as Plo Koon, Ahsoka Tano, and even Obi-Wan Kenobi. The galaxy was finally saved from the Sith. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you didn't know, we're giving away a replica Cal Kestis lightsaber from Neo Sabers. All you need to do is head over to the video What If Qui-Gon Survived and like and comment on it. There's a link to it in the description below or check it out on our channel page. The winner will be announced at the end of the month, so stay tuned and check out for all of our updates. Also, be sure to check out Neo Sabers if you would like to have your own lightsaber. They have a bunch of awesome replicas to choose from at an affordable price that will make you feel like a Jedi Master. What do you think of Plo Koon training Anakin? Do you think Anakin would still turn to the dark side or would the outcome be different? I personally think that almost any other master would have been a better fit for Anakin instead of Obi-Wan. At the time of the Phantom Menace, Obi-Wan was not ready for an apprentice of his own and the events that follow Anakin's life demonstrate this. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below as well as any other what if ideas you would like to see next. Thank you all for watching and may the force be with you.